What has happened to BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit Day number 140. Now, I always love to get things in the mail. I like packages, and I got one today. Now, I know who it's from, but I'm going to unwrap it for your viewing pleasure. Goddamn packing peanuts. I'm going to make a mess on my desk. I can see this now. Get there, get there, get there. Beautiful. So, I'm going to put that one there because there's two bottles in here. Oh, wait a second. There's three bottles. Okay. Put that up there. And... Get the packing peanuts because I don't want them going everywhere. Okay. So. Oh. So, I have... Batch number two of the Smoke Point from Shelter Point. Shelter Point delivered this today. Thank you so much for the support. What else do I have? Let's have a look. The Montfort, brand spanking new Montfort 151. So both of these are brand spanking new. I'm not even sure if I've seen a few on the shelf. Montfort 151, they're, uh, they're sort of delving into the terroir of where they are in Oyster River up there. The third one. And then a big bottle of Montfort 151. So, oh, so many things that I need to taste. I'm going to keep the Smoke Point Batch 2 for a different tasting. So I'm going to put that aside. So let's do the Montfort 151. I shouldn't say what. So it's the Montfort District Lot 151. Um, it's all grown uh, up near Shelter Point. Um, DL 151 is distinctly different from DL 141. Okay, now I'm going to track down a bowl of damn. I'm going to track down a bowl of 141 and take a tasting taste off as well. I don't think I've got any 141 in my collection right now because this stuff is so tasty. It rarely lasts very long in my house. So I did bring down two glasses with me, but I'm going to keep the smoke points. I got some smoke point batch one on the back. I want to taste the differences, but let's kick it off into the the Montfort DL 151. Now. Why do I love the Montfort more than the other, like, actually, I love all the whiskeys from them, but Montfort 141 and one, obviously the Montfort 151, I'm saying a lot of numbers in this episode, I apologize if you can't keep up, um, is that it, it's all the grain grown on the property up in Campbell River, um, and that's important. It's really important to think about because a lot of single malt producers in Scotland don't use grain from Scotland. Obviously, Scotland is very small. They make a ton of whiskey. You just wouldn't be able to keep up. A lot of the whiskey comes from France and Germany and, and in, in the interior of Europe. And so you don't really get a terroir-driven specificness to your single malts coming from Scotland apart from like your yeast strains, the barrels they use, the peat they use, so on and so forth. But like for the true grain terroir, like where the grain comes from, you don't get to see a lot of that. I mean, Brew Gladdy's done a little bit, um, which is also very difficult with Isla. Um, so 2,388 bottles produced. Still grown, was grown. Uh, wow. I'm just, I'm just blown away with the fact that this diving in so deeply into the terroir drivenness of the, sh the region that they're in, um, it really does show you what you can do when you put your mind to it. Very classic, like Highland single malt sort of notes, bright orange, um, little spice, vanillas in there. But you got that that classic shelter point, like. Shelter sure point out, I've talked about the uh, specificness of uh, distilleries in um, BC, whereas we're not going to have terroir flavor profiles from regions. It's going to be terroir profiles from actual distilleries. Oh, on the palate, those oranges and spice come through. Really nice spice, actually, profile in this. It's 46%, but it's almost like a rye rye sort of sort of spice to it grain profile is really delicious in there again a little vanilla a bit a bit of barrel profile but nothing too over uh reductive in the way of uh matchsticky barrel sort of thing which you get you can get sometimes with some of these bc whiskies is that you get a bit of an over reductiveness of the the barrel 
really well balanced. I've got to try and find a bottle of 141 today and do a tasting of this. Um, what a fantastic new addition to the family. The Montfort 151 from Shelter Point. Um, track it down. Get some. It's a must. Uh, so, guys, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.